If you give me the next two minutes of your day, I'm going to share with you my favorite play in Madden 22 on offense right now. I've literally ran this play pretty much all weekend, and honestly, with about 90% consistency, it really doesn't matter what the defense does, to be honest with you. It's that good this year. Um, it's probably better than ever, and I'm going to show you why in this video. So the play comes to us out of the Seattle playbook. It can be found in other playbooks as well, but I believe the bunch tight end is certainly best combined with the bunch this year out of Seattle. This, form, this playbook is by far the number one playbook in the game. If you want to learn my entire gun bunch tight end offensive ebook, uh, there's a link in the description. You can get the full guide for just 15 bucks. We've been updating it uh, for the last couple of nights uh, with the latest pack showing new cover three beaters um this play is amazing it really is it's probably better than last year for a lot of reasons but let's get into it gun bunch tight end pa boot over now all we're going to do is we are going to put our tight end on a delay fade if you want to double team that side or slide that direction or id somebody over there all of that will help you kind of be able to roll out more consistently our first read is always this drag route now what's really cool about the drag route is as you saw right there it looked covered oftentimes the zones will basically allow that to be able to come back inside and then as you can see there it's just a really easy consistent yard gainer now our second read on this play is almost always going to be our delay fade and our delay fade all we're going to do is we're just going to click on an aggressive catch it if we don't catch like if right there you saw it was in man coverage um if it's man coverage it's obviously not going to be as consistent this year but i will say like you're just going to throw him open so if he's got inside leverage throw it to the inside if he's got outside leverage throw this to the outside uh, now give me a little bit extra time here and i'm going to show you a couple more routes here the other one is this big boy crosser here it's really really good and i I honestly prefer to actually run this with my bunch to the short side so what you can do um, a lot of people don't do this but I actually like to is I'm gonna flip this and what you're gonna see is I'm gonna run to Brady's bad side just don't hold turbo as long as you don't hold turbo you can still make this throw now as you saw right there that's probably one of the main reasons why obviously with gunslinger it would be a little bit more consistent if I had a little bit better route running it would be a little bit more consistent on that side let me show it to you one more time though because I actually really do uh, I will run this with my bunch to the short side of the field a lot and I have so much success with this as you can see right there as long as I, I should have possession caught it but you can see how good that crosser is it's good on both sides it's even better when you run it to the wide side of the field um, so just kind of keep that in mind it is good to the short side but it's great to the wide side of the field now the last uh, play on this is really not a route that we kind of hit a ton on this play it's more of a route that we use as a beater um, for other coverages as you'll see right here it's not the greatest if there's safety help but here's what people are going to start doing almost everybody that i face what the first kind of strategy that they're going to try is they're going to basically do something like this where they put a purple zone on that bunch tight inside and then they're going to basically allow you to do this right here as you can see you're just going to click on make a swerve catch and as you can see it's wide open and then just like our delay fade was our second read it's kind of our final read as well um, and what i mean by that is if we roll out and we have nothing late in the play we can release this tight end and again just pass lead it open right there we had that three wreck there unfortunately um but let me show you again the tight end delay fade is is even better against zone i haven't even shown it against zone yet so i'm going to show it because for whatever reason the computer is throwing random like cover one robber which is not a great coverage against this but as you can see, you can just let that run. And as you see, it's kind of a check down. Now, what's even cool, even more cool about this is let's say, for example, that they're playing a lot of man coverage on you. Well, when you get out of the pocket here and you release that guy, look, there's nobody to guard you. You can just run for about 10 to 15 yards as well. So that's what makes this such a good concept. The bunch tight end PA boot over, it truly is one of the best plays year in and year out. It's been good for years in Madden. Um, as you can see right there, I can throw that and with pretty good confidence, as long as I pass lead that to the opposite side of the defender, I'm going to have a pretty good amount of success with this. So you'll see right here, just throw it inside. And as you see, I kind of swerve catched it and or swerve caught it and i'm able to glitch him out so i absolutely love this play don't let anyone tell you that you have to run this to you know just one side or the other i found that you actually have success running it this way um because as long as long as you don't hold turbo as long as you don't hold turbo you are going to be fine um if you if you if you what i mean by that is when you roll out oftentimes what you want to do is you want to hold turbo use escape artist get out of the pocket 
with this, you just want to kind of just jog just like this. I did this with Aaron Rodgers all the time last year. And as you see, I can hit that crosser and be able to force the defense to have to adjust to both sides, not just one of them, which is why I like to use both sides. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn my complete guide to the bunch tight end offense, there's so much more in this formation than just PA boot over. Um, it really is the best offense in the game. I can't tell you how hard it is to stop this offense because you get be the best pass protection. You get the best uh, routes that I've seen. And you're able to get these routes that work together and off of one another to create a perfect offense. So if you want to get my bunch tight end guide, it features the best bomb play in Madden, and it features uh, another really good one that we just put in there today that's a phenomenal play. If your opponent's running any type of match coverage whatsoever, you'll be able to score in one play. So a lot of one play touchdowns in this offense. This is, in my opinion, it's the, it's the number one offense this year if you want to throw deep down the field. So... Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description. You can click on that link. It'll take you right to the website where you can get the full bunch tight end offensive guide for just $15.